happy Valentine's Day. Even though Valentine's Day has a dark meaning behind it. But that's not what we're here for today. Today is February 14th. Black History Lesson, part number 14. And today's topic is a very interesting topic. And a sad one. The youngest person to ever be executed in the United States of America. In a court of law. George Steeny Jr. From South Carolina. Did you know that the youngest person to ever be executed was age 14? And yeah, I chose today's date because, you know, the 14. 14 year old got murdered. But it's not exactly on his day. George Steeny Jr. was born October 21st, 1929. Stumbled across somewhere around the railroad in South Carolina. Two dead bodies. One was named Don, what you call it? Betty June Binnaker, age 11, and Mary Emma Thames, age 7. Their body was found dead around the railroad. They were murdered. Of course, George Steiny Jr., 14 year old, he told what he saw. He told whoever was around his surroundings that he came across these two dead bodies. He just found them dead. Of course, being a dark skinned black person, him and his brother were caught basically round by the bodies and all that, where they said that only they found the dead bodies. His brother was later released, but Steiny wasn't released. Everybody, including the mob, you know, the cops, the mob, they wanted to lynch Steiny. He thought it was over from then, but it wasn't over. So he went to a trial where blacks weren't even allowed to have a trial. Didn't even have a right defense attorney to back him up. And, you know, the jurors were all white. They already convicted him. But before they convicted him and sentenced him to the electric chair on death row, he was in, he was being interrogated by this cop. A cop offered him ice cream and just said, if you, if you confess that you murdered these girls, we'll let you go and we'll never talk about it. So, out of being under pressure and having a long time trying to confess his innocence, he relinquished his innocence. He gave away his innocence and confessed that he did wrong. I mean, pretty much like a lot of people who went to Rikers Island do today, they plead guilty for a crime they never did. So, <laughs> the cops said we, he just confessed, the little nigga confessed that he did it out of sexual motive, that he murdered these little kids. So now he was sentenced to be taken to the electric chair. And while he was in the electric chair, I'm going to share this video in the description. Uh, it was best. It's a poem by somebody. I don't know who it's by, but it's a real deep poem to even further explain and summarize the whole incident of George Steiny Jr. And, um, you know, they took him to the electric chair. And he couldn't fit the shit on top of his head. So the guard, he went to go get some books, and the thing for his head was still too big. But in that video I'm going to share, you see exactly the end results of how his face looked and all that after being electrocuted. And actually, it's a sad sight to see. We got our Emmett Till's murdered because he whistled at a freaking white woman. And we got our George Steiny Jr. being murdered because he witnessed two dead bodies of two white teenagers, I mean, not white teenagers, two white minors, defenseless, their bodies laid down cold and all that, and they was murdered. It wasn't until 70 years later, in 2004, that they reopened the case and, and actually said that George Steiny Jr. did not have a fair trial and his Sixth Amendment was violated. There was a guy by the name of Fryer, Fryer or something, I forgot his name. He basically said that the person who murdered these girls was in his deathbed and confessed that he was the one that did this. He's the one that murdered these two innocent white little kids, these two innocent white little girls. So sadly, we had a teenager who was who has been put down in the history of America to be the youngest to be executed. And sadly, it had to be a black boy just murdered in vain all because of racism 
discrimination, prejudice, was even given a chance to express what he saw, wasn't given a chance to talk about his side of the story. And the kid was only five feet one, didn't even weigh a lot, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's sad that for the last few days I had to talk about a lot of negative black history and everything because there's a lot of positive black history that we don't know. However, it is very important to learn these things because these things have taken place. There are probably way more worse history out there pertaining to black people that's out there that hasn't been discovered yet. But, you know, I like to express what I know, express what I learned, and express the unknown, even if it's already known. But, um, yeah, George Steiny Jr., the youngest kid, the youngest person to be executed in the United States, age 14. If he was alive today, last year he would have been 90 years old. This year he would have been 91. So he was really old. As a matter of fact, not too he was about like, what, a month and 17 days younger than my grandmother if she was alive. But anyway, it's your boy just said a prodigy. And um, for those who celebrate Valentine's Day, which I don't think you should, happy Valentine's Day. Like I said, happy Valentine's Day. It's your boy just said a prodigy. I'm out. Peace. And if for those who actually view my videos, share, subscribe, and comment. You're more than welcome to comment your opinion. And thank you for viewing that. Peace. I'm out.